Let's calculate the integral we see on the screen. We can see that we have an integral, an integral of a fraction in which in the denominator we have a square root. We can easily check that this integral cannot be done immediately and the main problem of this integral is the square root and the denominator. How can we get rid of, of this square root? We would have to have something squared inside the square root so everything will go out. How can we get something squared inside the root? So let's call x t square and the derivative of x would be 2t times the derivative of what is inside that is the derivative of t substituting this on the integral we would have 1 divided by the square root of t square minus 1 times 2t times the derivative of t this would be the same as 2t on the numerator times the derivative of t and on the denominator the square root goes off so and it would we will have t minus 1 on the denominator of the integral now to calculate this integral we, we just have to divide the numerator between the denominator so dividing this we will do it down here <coughs> we would have 2t plus 0 divided by t minus 1 and 2t divided by t is 2 and 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 so we would have a 2 left and as we know on a division the dividend is equal to the divisor times the quotient plus what it's less left so the dividend divided by the divisor is the same as the divisor times the quotient divided by the div divisor plus what's left that's r divided by d we can get rid of, of these divisors multiplying the q so the formula would be the following one dividend divided by divisor is equal to the quotient plus r divided by the divisor so applying this formula to, to what we have is 2t divided by t minus 1 would be equal to 2 the quotient plus 2 divided by t minus 1 so we can see that we can substitute this into our integral so we would have the integral of 2 times the derivative of t plus the integral of 2 divided by t minus 1 times the derivative of t the first integral is pretty easy the integral of 2 is just 2t two and the integral of 2 divided by t minus 1 we can get the 2 out of the integral so it would be 2 times the natural logarithm of 
the denominator, t minus 1, plus a constant. And as we can see, initially we had x as our unknown value, so we have to finish our integral expressing it with the x, not with t. Now, substituting the x into our expression, as x was equal to t squared, t would be equal to the square root of x. Now, substituting t, it, the integral would be 2 times the square root of x plus, natural, plus 2 times the natural logarithm of the square root of x minus 1 plus a constant which in which the constant is from the set of real numbers